Hey everyone, this is Sean and today I have with me the Microsoft Surface 3 but what I'm going to show you is actually an Android emulator, my favorite Android emulator for the Surface 3. I'm going to be talking about the performance of different Android games and apps and I'm also going to be walking through a detailed tutorial on how to set this up. I recently discovered this one Android emulator called AMI Duos and it is absolutely fantastic, okay? In my opinion, it runs things very well. It's not 100% perfect, but I'm gonna show where it excels and where it could improve. So let's begin. Okay, so first of all, you can see things are quite smooth. It's not very choppy. Uh, it's definitely not as smooth and buttery as a native Android experience, but compared to some of the other emulators I've used, this is by far the most fluid it can also recognize my voice, so I can say, Okay, Google, where is the nearest pizza place? Here are the listings for pizza place within three miles. Awesome, so that works beautifully, okay? Okay, so let's also look at the Google Translate app just to show you. Uh, let's go ahead and try English to Japanese. Hello, how are you? It looks great. Yes, this is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so there you go. So that works. So it, it can, uh, as far as the microphone goes, it works perfectly. Let's look at the camera. Okay, you can see my, my little hair right over there. Front facing camera works great. Uh, let's see if we can reverse the camera. Look at the... Okay, I don't know if you can see very well, but the rear-facing camera definitely works great as well. So let's uh, go back home here. Okay, so microphone, camera, front-facing and rear-facing camera, fully supported. So you can do all your video chats or you can do Instagram. Okay, what about um, audio? What about listening to music? So here's Spotify. Let's uh, play something from Spotify. Awesome, Spotify works great. Also, if you wanted this to be in uh, portrait mode, that works great as well. Awesome, so this works great, whether you're in this mode or whether you wanna be in landscape mode. Awesome, if I go back home, you can see that still works great. Uh, and of course you got your notifications panel up here. I can pause the music from up there. Uh, this is running Android KitKat so you can see uh, I've got access to settings and everything um, through this menu. I did hear that uh, Android Lollipop is just right around the corner for this. Uh, so that's something to, to keep in mind. Alright, so what's next? What about video? Okay, let's try something with video. Uh, here's the YouTube Kit app. Let's see if we can play a video. Let's see how that performs. Uh, let's go search for Thomas the Train. Okay, Thomas and Friends. Uh, let's play a short little clip here. Uh, what about this little guy over here? Perfect. So video is very smooth. You see this all works down here. Okay. There you go, perfect. Kid app, uh, Thomas and Friends works great. What I did notice is that some things for some reason don't work quite as well. So these are channels. If I click on a channel, it goes to a blank white screen and uh, it just stays there. So I can search for a video and it'll go to a video, but in this particular app, I don't know why this happens. Uh, let's see, what's next? Let's look at some games, okay? Let's do uh, Clash of Clans. All right, so here I have Clash of Clans. Uh, as you can see, very smooth scrolling. All right, let's go ahead and build something over here. All right, so that's building now. So, yep, you can zoom in, look around, zoom out. Uh, so Clash of Clans works great. All right, perfect, let's, let's try something else now. Uh, let's go, let's try uh, Crossy Road. Okay, so this is Crossy Road. I've got a basketball dude here. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, 
Ah, oh, and I got hit by the truck. Okay, so cross. So this, in my opinion, this works fantastic. Okay, so let's see what else can we try. World of Tanks. Now this is a very intensive three-dimensional game. Okay, so we're gonna kind of put the surface to its test here. How well can this uh, Android app run? All right, so here's uh, World of Tanks. You can see, as far as the, the 3D goes, very responsive. I can kind of look around my tank and see. So let, let's play a game. Let's see how it uh, handles. Okay, so you can see I'm playing World of Tanks now. Uh, it's fairly smooth. It it, uh, it jitters a little bit here and there, but overall, I'd say that I'm actually quite impressed. Oops. Okay, so let's look at Google Maps here. Okay, so I've got Google Maps open now. Now what surprised me is that it can handle the 3D games very well and some of those very intensive games, but if you can see Google Maps, I'm not sure why. It just, it doesn't handle it uh, quite as well. It definitely works, but you can see it's quite uh, like jittery, very slow. So there you go, that's Google Maps on this emulator. All right, so let's go back. Uh, but I would say, you know, for a good number of apps that you can find in the Google Play Store, so you can see here's the, the full uh, Google Play Store. Top three. So, so there you go, this is the Google Play Store. I'd say for a good number of these apps, they, they work just fine. Uh, you may find little uh, glitches here and there that might not work as expected, but overall I'm pretty happy. You know, compared to some of the other emulators I've played with, uh, this is by far the smoothest, most satisfying experience that will get you as close as possible to a native Android tablet on your Surface 3. Okay, again, this is the Surface 3, not the Surface Pro 3. I have not tested this on the Pro 3, although I imagine that the experience will only be better. Okay, great. So so that was kind of the performance test. Uh, now I'm going to show you a detailed tutorial as to how to actually install this and get this to work. Okay, so in order to install AMI Duos, you're going to want to go to your web browser, uh, navigate to www.amiduos.com. Okay, do check out my video description for links to all of these. You'll find them. Uh, this is what the page should look like. Now I should mention here, you can see AMI Duos is free for 30 days, but it is $9.99. In my opinion, it's worth every penny. Uh, for an app that costs $9.99 that gives you access to the entire Android ecosystem, I don't know, to me, to me it's worth it. Then you're gonna wanna go to download now, okay? And then you can accept and uh, download. And you'll see it'll start to download and then you can go ahead and install AMI Duos on your computer. If it gives you error messages about trying to enable hardware virtualization in the BIOS and all that kind of scary stuff, just ignore it, okay? Just click continue, just continue on as if you're doing it without hardware virtualization. Uh, this is actually a trick. You'll see in my task manager that virtualization is enabled. Now, how did I enable it on my computer? I didn't do anything, okay? All you have to do is run AMI Duos as if you're going to be using it. It'll be a little bit slow, but just run it, use it for maybe like, you know, two minutes, and then close it down and restart your computer. And when you restart it, virtualization will be enabled. Okay, so after you open up AMI Duos, you'll notice that the Google Store is missing. Now, the Google Store is essential for a complete Android experience, so what you're gonna wanna do is go to the link in my video description or you can find this on the AMI Duos website and that'll take you to a place where you can download a zip file that'll give you access to the Google Store. So download the zip file and then you'll see the zip file will be downloaded to your computer, okay? And then what you're gonna wanna do after you download the zip file is you're gonna open up the context menu and you'll see here apply to Duos, okay? So make sure your AMI Duos is up and running and then click apply to Duos and then that should apply it to Duos and then you will have, it'll it'll reboot, it'll take about five minutes to update, it'll restart and then boom, you should be ready to go. All right, so there you go. That was my comprehensive video on running AMI Duos on your Surface 3. 
I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, please do like it, do share this video, and thank you very much for watching.